This is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator. So happy to be joined today by Sean Driscoll, who is VP of Sales with GPO Display. The topic of conversation will be large format displays, which of course aligns with our large format display deep dive, which will be all over commercialintegrator.com and the April issue of Commercial Integrator, uh, celebrating everything to do with the dazzling displays that our industry can create. Thank you so much, Sean, for sharing your insights insights with us and for being here today. Thanks for having me, Dan. So GPO Display, as I know, has been around for, for quite a few years, but for a while there, I, I guess it would be probably fair to say you were a little bit more in the background, not necessarily always in the public in the public eye. That's changed a little bit in recent times. Do you want to talk a little bit about GPO Display for people who may not be as familiar with it as you, as you and I are? Sure. Um, we are somewhat of a lesser known name in the display world. We don't have um, a, a line of consumer televisions that people associate with our brand, for example. But for a long time, we have been behind the curtain, so to speak, as an OEM providing back end electronics to more well known brands who would then assemble those back ends, uh, controller board, power supply, et cetera, with an LCD panel and then brand it as their own monitor. We decided to take ownership over the entire manufacturing and assembly process, conducting assembly here in Northern California, uh, because we saw a few benefits to that. Um, one, uh, we had more control over the entire uh, manufacturing process and QA and things like that. Uh, and we saw a lot of opportunity to develop new unique custom products um, and new uh, standard off the shelf unique products um, from video walls to kiosks to interactive tables. And so we've been delivering branded product for a little over a decade now. So I want to talk a little bit about kind of a specific usage of large format displays and why we created something called the large format display deep dive to kind of disambiguate it in a sense from simple digital signage. During the COVID era, we saw a lot of digital signage for health messaging, safety messaging, hygiene messaging, or on campuses, for example, to talk about you know when, when uh, the next social was going on or something like that. But I want to talk about large format displays in the context of dazzling images, the kinds of things that we an indelible impression that might be in a lobby that make you say, wow, this brand has some real luster. Look at their lobby. Look what this looks like. Do you want to talk about how GPO display is kind of leveraging or has the potential to leverage the desire for those wow worthy large format displays? You're absolutely right about early on uh, in the pandemic. Uh, most of the video walls that we saw going up were not uh, sort of wow factor uh, large format displays. Many in uh, federal spaces, because we do assemble in the states, fully TAA, TAA compliant. Um, and we saw a lot of uh, use in mission critical applications. But as things have sort of uh, opened up, people have returned to work, we've seen more emphasis on common areas and also customer experience centers, more wow factor video walls to impress prospective or existing clients visiting a corporate space. And we've seen that uh, not only in LCD video walls, which have been really our bread and butter for the past uh, decade plus. Uh, this 55 inch two by two that you see up here is comprised of razor narrow bezel displays. That's sub one millimeter combined bezel gap, but also transparent OLEDs. Now we have a single 55 inch here, uh, but we have also deployed these in video wall settings. They can be tiled together. You'd simply invert the top row and you achieve about roughly a 10 millimeter gap, but it's unlike LCD, a transparent uh, border rather than a bezel. Uh, so these are really uh, a, a unique addition to the large format display world. I know that there are also transparent direct LEDs, but these certainly provide um, greater resolution, uh, suitable for much closer viewing. And I think uh, much better suited towards uh, that customer experience center environment, museums, um, uh, placement in areas where you may want to showcase specific artifacts or objects or, um, you know, items from a company's history, for example, things like that. 
One message I'm getting from this conversation is that GPO display is really um, set apart in some way by the breadth of your offering. You just showed me that tiled LCD video all behind you. Of course, the transparent OLED, which is also behind you, is one of the ways that GPO display distinguishes itself. Simply the breadth of solutions that you offer, that integrators and end users have different needs in different contexts, and they can come to GPO display and get the precise right visual display solution for what they're looking for. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, that's absolutely uh, one of the main differentiators uh, that GPO Display has as a true manufacturer. Our history as an OEM uh, and you know the production of those back-end electronics I mentioned earlier really allows us to adapt our back-end solution to any mass-produced large format panel, whether it be OLED or LCD. The fact that we have our own metal shop means we can produce housing for things like interactive tables, uh, custom built one offs, uh, interactive kiosks, video wall floor stands, unique mounting brackets for transparent OLEDs, custom housing, uh, you know, with specific corporate or university colors, for example, custom logos, uh, the list goes on and on. We are really project oriented and that ability to produce customized or specialized products plays into that, but we also have the capability to ramp up for large rollouts. Um, so yeah, aside from the fact that uh, manufacturer of displays that are fully TAA compliant and suitable for use in high security applications, um, that project oriented, uh, flexible approach really is a, a differentiator and one benefit of working with GPO display. Well, thank you so much, Sean, for lending your insights during this conversation. Really informative, and I think that even if GPO display is not well known among all or in all corners of the commercial AV industry, it very, very soon will be, especially with the leading edge technology provide and the, the kind of unique dis differentiators in terms of capability that you have. So thank you for educating not just me, but also commercial integrators audience about what GPO display is doing and uh, everything we can we can learn from it. Thanks so much, Dan. My name is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator. So happy to have been joined by Sean Driscoll, who is VP of Sales with GPO Display. Please check back on commercialintegrator.com throughout the month of April for our large format display deep dive, and also our April issue of Commercial Integrator Magazine, which will feature extensive coverage of the large format display category, including a unique contribution from GPO Display. Until then, have a great rest of the day, and as always, thank you for tuning in.